Hey guys, we are getting lots of questions at Good Lawyer around force majeure and what it's all about. So I'm going to do a really quick video and let you know what force majeure is, um, what you can do if it's in your contract, what you can do if it's not in your contract. And then at the end, I'll just go over a quick um, story about a time that I dealt with a client um, who wanted to rely on a force majeure provision. So essentially what force majeure is, is it's a provision in your contract that if it is in your contract, it allows you to cancel or postpone your contract because um, it's impossible to perform that contract due to certain events. And those events are referred to as force majeure events. I did a previous video um, answering the question, is COVID-19 a force majeure event? So I'm not gonna go into that to um, in depth, but essentially the force majeure provision will have a laundry list of different events that could make up um, what is referred to as a force majeure event. So look in your contract, typically it's at the end of your contract and um, the heading might be force majeure or acts of God. There's different terms that are in there that you wanna look for in your contract. So if you have one, that's great. Um, you still need to dig a little bit deeper, read the language and understand if it applies to the event in question. Um, and also find out what to do if it does apply. So sometimes there'll be a notice period or a certain amount of time when you need to give notice and for how long the event needs to occur. So just really read that language in depth and make sure you understand it and that you abide by what it says in that provision. So if you do not have a force majeure provision in your contract, you can't rely on force majeure. Uh, that doesn't mean that all hope is lost. You can still turn to some different provisions. Um, first would be your termination provision. So take a look in your contract for a section on termination. Often it's bunched together with the term and it will talk about different ways that you can possibly cancel your contract or terminate it. Um, so, you know, read that really closely, understand what that says in order to figure out how to terminate your contract and any sort of um, implications of that. Another option, too, is you could look at the doctrine of frustration, um, and that has to do when an unforeseen circumstance makes performance of that contract radically different from what you initially intended when you entered into the contract. So there's a bit of a high standard in terms of proving um, frustration. So it really, you know, it all comes down to your contract, the particular sets of facts in your situation. So if you're not sure, feel free to reach out to Good Lawyer and book a call with one of the lawyers. We'll be happy to chat with you about your contract specifically. Um, and so by way of example, so recently I had a client of mine reach out um, and I had drafted a contract for her. She's a photographer and her clients are brides. So she's a wedding photographer. And so she wanted to reach out because with COVID-19, she can't um, perform her services. So COVID-19 makes it impossible for her to fulfill her contract. So we went through the force measure provisions. She had one in there. We walked through how she could evoke that in, in the cases of her clients. And what actually worked out well for her was she is able to reschedule all of her weddings to, um, to next year. Her clients were able to get new dates for their venues. So she didn't actually have to use force majeure, but keep it in mind. And she was happy to know that she had it in there. And if something did come up in the future that she was covered. So if you have any further questions around force majeure or your contract in general, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to help.